do you imagine? Love. Very good. Mm -hmm. As you connect with that love, I'd like you to connect directly with the source of that love. Yeah. I am connected. And tell me what you're hearing in your mind. He said I'm sending the light mm -hmm. just a little by little. Mm -hmm. Little by little. Not to overwhelm you. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else does he have to say? He said you are light and you are always connected to me. Mm -hmm. He said you are me. You are me. Very good. So let's find out why he brought you here to this session today. What does he have to say to you today? Allow the voice to express itself. Why did you bring Nisha here today? You love her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is guiding Nisha? So many. So many. So many. So many are guiding her. But she tells me she doesn't want to ask for help from all of these that are helping her. Why is that? She was into aware about them. Mm -hmm. And when she became aware, she means no words. He doesn't feel worthy. No, because yeah, because she thought when well, she wasn't aware about them, mm -hmm. and now she felt she feels they are love overwhelming love, mm -hmm. and she has help coming from everywhere, from everywhere, from source, from the galactics, from. Angels from elements, mm -hmm. from animals, from plants, earth, the sand, the rocks. Uh, all of them. Mm -hmm. And all of us, they love her. Who are the main ones that are working with her right now? Well, it feels like so many want not to help and sometimes I even find in in friendly way to help her. Mm -hmm. So many. So many. Yes. So why is it that she came into this lifetime with so much assistance, yet making herself so small? She cannot forgive herself. She cannot forgive herself. But you <laughs> tell her. Why? What's happened to her that she cannot forgive? Now she knows mentally that light and darkness are the same thing, but at a different degree. Mm -hmm. But she still, still cannot forgive herself to oh. be in the dark. Mm -hmm. Not on this lifetime, though. Mm -hmm. she's, she's in this lifetime to fix things. All right. So can we go to that lifetime to fix it from there, please? Would you allow her to visit that life so we can make some changes? Would you allow that today? It feels like that happened many 
a lifetime, so mm-hmm. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So let's find out the original one, the one that started the domino effect into darkness. I'm going to count from five to one. When I get to number one, I'll touch your forehead, and we will be in that lifetime. Five, going back in time now. Four, through time and space. Three, looking for that lifetime that began it all. Two, and one. Be there now. A long, long time ago, mm-hmm. million of billions of years ago. Mm-hmm. In Andromeda. In Andromeda. Very good. Tell me what's <coughs> happening in Andromeda. She was helping the darkness. She was helping the darkness. Tell me how she helped the darkness. What did she do to help the darkness? Be yourself now. Be there now. See yourself in that life. I cannot see it from this mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Uh, see it as an observer. It seems like I was operating a different level, mm-hmm. but now I cannot access it. Mm-hmm. Uh, something much bigger mm-hmm. than whatever I can imagine. Mm-hmm. The being I was in there. All right. I cannot go back to imagine it. Mm-hmm. Tell me what's holding you from seeing this and experiencing this. Protection? Uh huh. What kind of protection? Something connected to the heart. Mm-hmm. It got already enough pain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very good. So I'd like for you now to ask for assistance. Who would you like to take you on your journey with you? <laughs> Who is there to help you? I think a lot of hurt was done to Mother Sophia. Right. So let's find out what kind of hurt was done. What did they do? What did they do to Mother Sophia? They dark. Blackness. Did you put this blackness? Were you part of this? Seems like mm-hmm. That's fine, she though. wasn't even fighting. She was okay. She was a loving mother. Mother Sophia was mm-hmm. not frightened. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. She wasn't frightened. She was like su- surrendered. She was surrendering. Surrendered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like their kids are doing mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Mother Sophia. When she saw what you were doing to her, what did she feel? She's okay. She's okay? She doesn't care. Okay. But she doesn't care. She's taking it with love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I want you to go ahead and feel what she is sending out to you in that incarnation. What was she sending to you? not a feeling of powerlessness, but mm-hmm. it's kind of, I can answer back, but I cannot, I don't want to, because mm-hmm. I'm in love with you. Ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how did that affect you? How did that affect you, knowing that Mother Sophia was not bothered by what you were doing? That's too much love. I don't think I deserve it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why she didn't just say stop and or and do anything back to stop us mm-hmm. or to hurt us? Who are you working with? Oh, 
he's gone now. Mm-hmm. He's gone. He's he went to the light. He went to the light. Recycled. He did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he doesn't want to surrender. It's okay. All right. So let's see what happened to you. I'd like for you now to follow the timeline and see what happened after this ordeal with Mother Sophia. What did you do next? I guess I it would be hard to follow uh, because it happened a long, long time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you see, there is no such thing as time. Uh, All time is happening right now. Yeah, I see. Mm-hmm. So we're uh, able to see all of the other lifetimes uh, that you lived simultaneously. Yeah. What other lifetimes were you doing damaged? Uh, I didn't do it when I was on, on her. Mm-hmm. However, I, after that, I, I stood up against the darkness mm-hmm. and I said I wanted to participate on fixing the problem, on, mm-hmm. on helping mm-hmm. and uh, healing and, and sending the darkness away. Mm-hmm. And what happened? Take me through that. What happened when you stood up and said that? He wasn't very happy. He was like, uh, challenging me. He was like, see the mean laughter? Like, mm-hmm. But I didn't care because he thinks that he's all powerful mm-hmm. and he forgot that Prime Creator was above and just looking like, okay, whatever, if that's your game, go for it. And uh, so I, it feels like I came so many times, trying, 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 and Mm -hmm. every time I got uh, killed. Mm-hmm. But every time I, it was doing something, even though I couldn't see it, and I f- felt again the pain, like I'm just trying to help. Mm-hmm. Whether I remember that I was from, I am in help in the dark at some point, but mm-hmm. sometimes I don't remember. I just uh-huh. feel hurt and I feel like, oh, I'm just wanting to help people bring them to the light. Mm-hmm. And, and at the end they kill me or they do something. So it seems to me that you have some sort of a guilt feeling with the earth, don't you? With Mother Sophia. Do you feel guilty that you tried hurting her? Uh, I used to feel more guilty mm-hmm. now, feeling less. I'm, oh. I'm feeling more her, her, her love and knowing mm-hmm. that she she forgave. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's, let's connect with her now. I'd like for you to now connect with Mother Sophia, which we call Mother Earth or Gaia. Connect with her now. She's happy. That she's, she's awakening and back. Mm-hmm. And she's happy that we are awakening, we are aware, mm-hmm. and I'd like for you to ask Mother Sophia if she has totally forgiven you for what you did to her such a long, long time ago. She said forgive for what? Mm. <laughs> so you really didn't even do anything, did you? Well, I did. But she wasn't looking at it from the perspective where I was mm-hmm. looking at it. She mm-hmm. was looking at it from a different side. So if you were to give a person a gift, and that person did not accept the gift, who does that gift belong to? Oh, I'll take it back. That's right. So Mother Sophia never took your gift of darkness. So there was nothing to forgive, <laughs> was there? 
<laughs> you were holding this guilt all this time of doing all of this damage to her, where in the same time, she never even took it from you. No. So is there any reason why you would not feel worthy to be a mother, Sophia? No. Because she saw you like a, a mischievous little child <laughs> trying to throw trash in her backyard. And she never even accepted that trash, did she? No. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to look at your timeline, look at back now at all those lifetimes and see now that you have changed the perspective how does that timeline look now? Is there any darkness in that past now? Mm. She has healed you with her love, hasn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that we have no darkness to carry along in this lifetime, let's find out a little bit about why you came to this earth this time around. What was your purpose? I'd like for you to go now to the moment where you were planning this incarnation. I'm going to count from five back to one. Touch your forehead and you will be in the planning stages with those planning your life. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. Look around you. Describe to me where you are. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. There's a huge fence. There's a huge fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's inside. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's bright. There is light. And it looks like I'm just looking toward the gate. Mm -hmm. Very high gates. I don't like to be there. Mm -hmm. Tell me what this place is. Why are you here today? It feels to be the first incarnation mm -hmm. place or machine or something. Mm -hmm. The forced <sighs> incarnation machine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go back. Why they keep sending me back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take me with you and tell me what happened. I don't want to go back. I don't even want to go to the meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't. Tell me where this meeting is. Somewhere in the center, like a door, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I said I'm not going to the meeting enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is it that you need to go to the meeting? What is your role in this place? What do you do there? They would tell me what to do mm -hmm. for the next life. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't agree. I think it's useless. I, I'm not under a mistake. I'm not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. It's like a prison and I don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. How did you get to this place where the dome is? Do you live here? No. Trapped you somewhere. Mm -hmm. They got me somewhere and they brought me there. All right. Where they got me, it was somewhere in the universe. Mm -hmm. Who took you to this place? Okay. Let's go back and find out <sighs> where you were and who trapped you. They make you forget. Well, we're going to now go to the point before you forget. I'm going to count from three to one, and you're going to go back before you were at this place. Oh, three, two, and one. Be there now. Be where you were before they took you. Where are you? In the void? In the void. Mm -hmm. But how can they access the void? Let's find out. They're not supposed to be there. All right, let's find out what you're doing in the void and how you're feeling in that void. I want to be here. 
I don't know, Tina. Anything. Just be. Just <laughs> it's so be. neutral. <laughs> All right. Very good. So as you're in that void, I want you to do frame by frame. Catch it between frames and see how they get through to the void. I don't know, but I know that I was wondering. Mm -hmm. The void. So maybe my wonder mm -hmm. opened a little opening for them. Now take a look and see. You have the power. You understand how this works. How did you allow them to come in through the void? Hmm. Watch it in slow motion. What happened? I think I was wondering how how uh, Gaia Sophia is doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that thought? Yeah, that's what opened. All right. So mm -hmm. Oh, so I, I connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that in the void. You were supposed to do what in the void? I, I wasn't supposed to. Be creating? Mm. Manifesting? I didn't know that I am um, creating or manifesting, but I know I, I wasn't supposed to be wondering. Mm -hmm. mm. So now, who came? Who came through that void? Hmm. Colors, they were like more brown. Mm -hmm and then different shades of brown and until it gets dark black mm -hmm. so i think what i saw first it was kind of a beige brown mm -hmm. and i was going going and it's getting darker and darker mm -hmm. and by the time i realized it's black it was too late you were already within it yeah. You were captured within that darkness? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. And where did they take you next? Allow yourself to see the journey. Where did you go? <laughs> yeah, he said, I got you back. Mm -hmm. You cannot go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Was this the same me. one? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a family member. Okay. But it's okay now. I don't have any bad feeling. It's okay. He was just playing his role. Mm -hmm. His role was to be dark, and uh, I, I don't know if I choose or I, it looks like I didn't choose. I was tricked mm -hmm. since the beginning. Yes. Oh yeah, I got it. I didn't choose to help. Oh, so who was convincing me that I did? No, the truth is, I did never choose to be part of the darkness. Um, I was tricked. Uh, Let's find out why you fell for that trick. What did you need from that darkness? What did you feel that you were going to gain? Uh, oh, it looks like I got bored. You got bored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the darkness seemed like a little bit more exciting? At least, I didn't know if it was to be exciting or not, but at least it looked to be different mm -hmm. from the white. Okay. Oh, because, yeah, what it was, it was all white. Mm -hmm. and, uh, A little boring for you? It looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's find out where you went after they, they captured you. <clears throat> Where did they take you? To this place, mm -hmm. uh, the incarnation thing. It's like a jail, prison, mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. And they always were warning us, if you try to get out over the fence or the gate, you bad stuff will happen to you. Mm -hmm. You get hurt and we'll catch you. Oh, that's what they say. We'll catch you. You cannot go anywhere. Mm -hmm. We'll bring you back anyway. Now, this place where you go, is it a planet? Or is it a place? It's just a place. It's just a place. It's just a place. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
that's why I always look to the toward the the, the fence, mm -hmm. even though it's a huge and tall. But I feel there is a way out, but I cannot figure it out. Mm -hmm. Now in this place, do you have a body? Seems to be something between beige and brown, mm -hmm. I like a body. All right. How is it that you cannot climb this fence? Because they're saying so. Ah. So if you tried to climb the fence, you probably could. Hmm. I don't know if I tried to say well, they brought me back or if mm -hmm. it's like... All right, so let's follow it. Let's not make any assumptions. I'd like mm -hmm. for you to follow it and see what happens once you go <sighs> into that place. I'm right here with uh -huh. you. Uh, when, yeah, when you get on top of it and you look, it looks only dark and empty and it's very scary. Mm -hmm. What does it look very... like in there? Yeah, if you look... The outside of it, ah, it's a very bad feeling. What does it look very like on the outside? Deep and black and deep. You don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. Probably that prison, mm -hmm. that jail is less horrible. Mm -hmm. ah. And when you go inside of this dome place? I, d I told them I don't want to go. Okay. What happens? I don't know. Let's find out. Allow mm -hmm. yourself to be there now. Where are you? I don't know if I sat for the meeting or not, but I know that um, I at the uterus, at the, when I was still in my mom's belly, mm -hmm. I was so scared, mm -hmm. scared, and uh, I don't know why, mm -hmm. but I saw um, Okay, we already showed her this, and at the beginning she wasn't sure if she was scared or if her mom was scared mm -hmm. or she was mixed, but after that, she realized that she was scared, mm -hmm. and we showed her on the soul. Oh, yeah, okay. So one soul has to go in this body, mm -hmm. and we sent another one to free her. We showed her one of only one. Uh, she saw sparkle of light. Yeah, she always knew that this spark of light is from God. Mm -hmm. That's why she always was connected to God and the Prime Creator. Mm -hmm. He knows. And this sparkle, she, we helped her to see it come in and going straight to the heart of the fetus mm -hmm. of her. Even though the, when she sees studies of people talking about the soul coming through the head, she just laughed and said, no, I know, I saw my soul coming from, coming to the heart. Mm -hmm. Now you said two souls. Yeah. Tell me about these two souls. One has to be there because it comes from the, when she was forced. Mm -hmm. And even her... That explain a little bit. Oh, okay. That that answers one of her questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't want to come back. She said that it's, it's nonsense and not going. Mm -hmm. They forced throw her there. Okay. So they throw her in a family, big number family, and a little bit poor people. Mm -hmm. I think it's to make her suffer more mm -hmm. and then she will not have enough love and attention because it's a big family um, but I think they made a mistake there were a lot of love in there mm -hmm. uh, and we sent the other soul 
to help free her. Mm -hmm. But but anyway, the other big soul cannot be in a human being anyway. So she needed anyway. She needed this incarnation. She needed that. She needed to come back anyway. She whether she it. wanted, yeah, that's explained why she, she her mom wasn't expecting her at that time. Mm -hmm. it, it's not that it wasn't nine months; it was, but she wasn't expecting her, and she was alone. And the baby was, or she was almost coming out when her mom was standing up. Mm -hmm. The mom didn't even realize how the baby is coming out. Her sister came visit her without. Any appointment, probably she just has a feeling that she has to go to see her, mm -hmm. and she helped with the birth of the baby. Mm -hmm. And so, is that why she has two birth dates? It looks like yes. Mm -hmm. So one when she was born, and the other one when she was registered. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just to remind her so many things mm -hmm. uh, that, there's a lot in it and she can figure it out by herself okay there's okay. a lot even for her she was always wondering mm -hmm. why i cannot even know what's my horoscope if it's aries or is it taurus mm -hmm. but now she get the answer the first part of her life was more taurus earth to earth now this part of her her life is aries uh, more fire door go get it and uh, it, Unstoppable. Uh, she's the leader. She's who she. That's who she really is. Mm -hmm. But the second one, one uh, two days after, that was just a human thing. A human needs to be registered. So right. I want to right. register her. So this soul that she has, <sighs> the one that didn't want to be here. Now it seems that she needed to be here anyway. Mm -hmm. So even if they were forcing her to be here, was Prime Creator in agreement with this? <laughs> Prime Creator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing would happen without his agreement. That's right. So it seems to me that it's almost the same thing as when uh, Mother Sophia thought that or she thought that Mother Sophia, she was putting all this darkness on her, and Mother Sophia was like, eh, not a big deal. So is Prime Creator kind of laughing at, at these beings that brought her back? Yes. <laughs> Thinking that it was their idea, but it was Prime Creator's idea anyway? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now she's getting it more clear. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what the real clear purpose is now. From Prime Creator. What was Prime Creator's reason for her having to incarnate? He loves her in a special way. Mm -hmm. Very special. Uh, I don't know when it is, but it's a very special connection. Mm -hmm. Very loving. It's okay. He's saying, Yeah, I love you all. all are all my kids mm -hmm. but he said that is still a special thing mm -hmm. so what is it that she needed to come here for she didn't want to be here she was crying that she didn't want to come what role? she wasn't crying she was really frightened oh she was fine she stood up and she said no mm. i'm not going to the meeting i'm not i don't know how they they throwed her down but i mean they did whatever so mm -hmm. yeah she, no she, she's very stubborn she's stubborn so yeah. it wasn't a crying thing it was it was a digging her mm -hmm. her heels down and yes. saying this no, is not happening you know oh yeah i know now yeah because she started remembering a little bit ah. who she is oh yes ah. she started remembering a little bit that they cannot force her mm -hmm. so they just throw her down okay and what kind of machine uh. is this that they throw people down Okay, I want to tell you something before before the machine. Yes, it's the so the little soul it needed anyway to deal with um, things from previous lives, mm -hmm. and we did took care of all of it. Wonderful. And we keep telling her, don't create more karma, <laughs> <laughs> even though karma is not the. I mean, not, don't create more karma in this lifetime, uh, even though karma is not what we were taught. We were told that uh, 
if you do something you have to pay for it mm -hmm. it's not um, exactly this way mm -hmm. yes you have to because that's the universal law and no one can go against them but I mean if you do something wrong to someone you can go ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. or you can uh, pay for it I'm not saying like pay a lot of money but do something to fix it if I yeah. broke your window I go buy new glass and bring glass and glue and I'm going to fix it for you mm -hmm. or if I, I broke it and I really really cannot I don't have the uh, I cannot do it mm -hmm. for any reason I would ask you to forgive me mm -hmm. and I would explain why and um, and that's it then I'm free so what did this little soul do in this lifetime to clear up all her karma oh okay so we cleared the karma mm -hmm. but it still need to be there to <laughs> to keep her on 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 earth on Gaia yeah. because the big soul cannot exist without it mm -hmm. and as well the the smaller soul can can more um, appreciate and love Gaia's things mm -hmm. like uh, she loves the sunshine she loves the beach she loves birds she loves the little soul can appreciate them mm -hmm. and the bigger soul has different stuff to deal with <laughs> very good yeah and now if you go back to your question about the incarnation machine force actually mm -hmm. um, okay a long time ago the dark energy took hold of many souls very few were able to escape um, big part of her soul escaped away mm -hmm. just this fractal they were able to capture so they captured many souls and they recycled them and they they told them that that's that's the way things work that's how God wants it to be mm -hmm. and you have to go back to fix things but at the end they sent people back to gather more karma and more suffering mm -hmm. in most cases mm -hmm. there are people who can get out of it mm -hmm. but most people they go back and when they go back to this machine the darkness keep like uh, its food safe like we we the bank food mm -hmm. food bank sorry food bank for, for so so uh, this is what it is mm -hmm. and they are using fake or tricky um, angels guides and stuff oh that's why now she doesn't want to meditate because she doesn't want to connect to them mm. okay even if she convince herself to be a good girl and meditate we take her away mm -hmm. yeah okay so that's why so who are the ones that are masquerading as fake how do they masquerade mm. okay mixed some of them Oh, they come from the lower realms, mm -hmm. and some of them they're tricked. They don't know. They're tricked and they don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you identify one that is masquerading? Oh, now we don't need to identify. We don't need to think. We don't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. Go straight to Prime Creator. Mm -hmm. and he knows what to do. He will send whatever help you need. Yes. Yeah. Go, go straight to Prime Creator. Mm -hmm. When I, so when I tell people to follow that light within their heart that's mm -hmm. yes that's the light that's the one we show her mm -hmm. she loves it since we showed it to her I think two or three years ago mm -hmm. that was one of the things that helped her a lot to know that she had this book mm -hmm. from God yes it was always there mm -hmm. but we needed to show it to her because if she she exited this life prematurely she was automatically to go back to the fourth incarnation machine this is what I wanted to happen mm -hmm. this is what was their plan so now that she's seen that spark within her light yeah. that light within her heart she's connected now with the prime creator with source or she's connected more than ever mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and with that I'm in connection it opens the door to a connection to the galactic mm -hmm. uh, family members or 
because uh, this soul. Who is she connected to? Would you tell her who her galactic family is? Uh, that's what I was about to tell you. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have like a family. Mm-hmm. She the soul is so big that it incarnated in many 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 races and galaxies and stuff and there is a purpose for it for the big soul uh, the big soul was doing this in a smart way because when you incarnate in a like a race mm-hmm. race where so you're one of them mm-hmm. they cannot mess up with you because if they would mess up with your timeline they would be messing up with their own timeline so it was kind of a smart move smart thing to be doing that's why she, she even tried to see if she's am i played it doesn't sound like am i arctos it doesn't sound am i and Roma didn't mm, okay maybe am i uh, uh she belongs to everything everywhere mm-hmm. uh, everywhere mm-hmm. yeah. and does she she wanted a re- uh, lemurian language or light language she wanted a download of that well, you told her, she just had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> so may I ask on her behalf, for a download of that light language, so that she can understand it, she can speak it? She needs it in this lifetime. Mm-hmm. To related to the question about their records mm-hmm. without getting further in it. Mm-hmm. Whether those records in that place or in a different place. Mm-hmm. Where are those records? From um, the Order of the Red Hand. She knows where. Mm-hmm. We showed her a couple of weeks ago. She was a little bit um, in a state that we thought she needs <laughs> a little something, a little uh, Mm-hmm. treat mm-hmm. just to show her that she's on the right path mm-hmm. um, she cannot yet see clearly all the time with the her third eye but on that night we made her be aware that she's seen with the right eye she was seeing a road and at the end of the road they were light and that made her feel so good mm-hmm. uh, because we showed her uh, two or three years ago this road oh my god filled of dust and dirt and she got stuck with her car and more sand and dust come almost cover the whole car and she was asking for help and there were no help and one of her kids was in there but at the end, she was able to do it and save herself and her kid. Now we showed her the same road, but clear with the light at the end. And she got the message that you, you're you walking toward the light. Mm-hmm. You're almost there, so it's, it's okay. And with the right eye, mm-hmm. we showed her yeah, it's funny because she's nearsighted, but we showed her she could see 100% clear the vision of um, her being floating on. Uh, she saw kind of uh, two mountains, so the earth wasn't red, it was brown. Uh, it's a mountain, something mm-hmm. smaller than the mountain, two of them. And she was flying above, and there's the third one. In, in front of them, mm-hmm. she was floating very, very clearly. But we did not yet give her a clue where. where you know, we said she will know where where this place and what for. So it may be related to the records or not. We'll, she, she'll know it when it's time. All right. So you're not going to give her any information right now. Mm-hmm. It's not the right time. Gosh, I said she knows everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the roads. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, they're saying even if she won't be there physically. Mm-hmm. Okay, no. Another aspect of her is going to be with the people who are going to do it. 
Okay. How many aspects does she have walking around on this earth? No, another aspect of her galactic aspect. Oh, galactic. Oh, yes, aspect. galactic. And it looks like this aspect was there when they were um, hiding, hiding them before the big destruction. Okay. Mm. So she doesn't have to be there herself to remove them? It depends if she wants to, but I mean, yeah, the, the aspect of her knows what she she knows what the other aspect is oh. going to do because they are one actually. But it looks like uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it depends if she'd be choosing to be there, she will. If not, she doesn't need to unless she wants and she's chosen. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about these aspects? How is it that she is here on Gaia, on Earth, and at the same time, another aspect of her is in the galactic realm? Mm -hmm. Now she sees it and she knows it uh, very, very clearly, so she will explain to you. Mm -hmm. So when she goes on the meditation, let's say with the, the group she joined recently, the uh, Ancient Awakenings, mm -hmm. when the one who serves or um, any of the Ascended Masters is guided for a meditation, as she trusts and she goes. Mm -hmm. But lately what she realized, when they bring them to the astral level and stuff and when it's time to tell them now you go back to your body she's just laughing and she's like ha 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 I don't even need to go back because I know I am there in my room on the meditation chair and I am here with all those so there's so many ships around Gaia mm -hmm. um, She's there as well, and she's somewhere else. So she's really kind of laughing, <laughs> and I'm I'm not going back. And I, there's no split. There's no no thing because at some point she thought she needs to go back and ground mm -hmm. uh, to be sure that the full whatever we think the whole her is there. But now she's aware that she can be everywhere on many places at the same time mm -hmm. she's comfortable she knows she has no problem at all with it or explaining it so the other aspects of anyone that that's that's you that's you that's you mm -hmm. and you you were there all the time you were there mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. so why i mean make it complicated and worried about oh another aspect of me goes at the end, it's you. Okay. Does she need any protection? From what? Well, that's my question. <laughs> now she's she... gone. It's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she feels she she doesn't need any protection at all. She's okay. As I said, from what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if if you are everywhere yeah. and you are source and you are mm -hmm. well, I mean. <laughs> Time to time, she, if the thought comes to her mm -hmm. head, not to her heart, mm -hmm. to her head that she needs protection, she do it just to calm her mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has something to that she recite from Quran. She read it in a, in a specific way, and um, she tells her mind or her head that okay, now you're safe, go to sleep. Now it seems to me that it's almost the same attitude that Gaia had that Mother Sophia had, that she was trying to send all the darkness to her. Mother said, nothing. It was like, I'm just sending you love. Mm. Are we the same? If darkness tries to come to us and we meet it with love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because darkness is you as well. Mm -hmm. You do not reject anything. Do not, I'm not saying welcome it, I'm saying do not invite it. Mm -hmm. But do not reject it. Um, how can I explain it? Okay. I, Prime Creator, Nothing. Nothing. 
exists outside of me. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Nothing. So do not reject anything. Bless it. Bless it. I don't judge it. You judge it. I don't judge you. You judge yourself. I love you. Oh, when I do it, I love you. I love you. But if sometimes you get too deep in the game, like you come back for a shower or something, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Come back to me. Recycle. Even the one, her cousin, she doesn't want to say his name. Mm-hmm. He didn't do anything out of my my creation mm-hmm. with nothing mm-hmm. so a lot of theory a lot of spiritual people a lot of psychic I'm talking about when the darkness got hold of earth and I abstracted information from it to go back to prime creator because I didn't want him to know how the game went for in the darkness and I would love <laughs> but the loving love like mm-hmm. like the father mm-hmm. the loving partner yes mm-hmm. uh, so nothing like, okay. gets past you no, no, as long as you're enjoying it mm-hmm. uh, time to time we'll interfere to make it a little bit Light and like she asked, mm-hmm. mm, she was like, yeah. <laughs> It's getting too much. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, make it lighter, but I don't want to. Whatever she was telling you, mm-hmm. I still want to fulfill my mission. But so we were just okay, done. Mm-hmm. I mean. Uh, you are at the level now that you can decide. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> your soul gathered uh, enough knowledge, strength, gathered the tools. Let's say she was preparing the tools, like a, a dentist or a doctor. He, he needs to get stuff to help people. Mm-hmm. So she was gathering it from different lifetimes and from. She gathered a lot in this lifetime, mm-hmm. <laughs> but she's, it's okay, she knows, she's brave, she's beautiful, she's brave, it's okay, she's fine, totally fine. <sighs> and what are these tools used for? What will she be using these tools for that she's gathered throughout all these lifetimes? To help people, mm-hmm. that's what she wanted to do, mm-hmm. she signed up for it, helping people, working with the galactic. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like to let's say family and friends or like to all of them mm-hmm. yeah but in this life this game that we're playing as humans on Gaia at this time we have a a way of finding of, of succeeding of feeling success money jobs abundance why has she been put through the test where she has lost everything and had to start over again she was told because she um, valued those things yeah. and she identified herself to the car she's driving or the clothes she's wearing um, but she keeps saying this is not true but actually at some point of it yes this is not true necessarily for this lifetime she's very humble mm-hmm. she's not materialistic uh, however, there's some stuff was accumulated from different lifetimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it's cleared, and the thought were given to her lately, or she's given it to herself. Mm-hmm. She's sometimes people said, "Which car are you driving?" She's not driving a good car, but in her head, she would say, "If it was." about, I mean, your value related to the car you're driving. I will be driving a starship. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> she starts seeing her value, mm-hmm. her real value, and we're helping her 
say it's okay you're still humble you're loving you love people and stuff but it's okay to know your own worth to know your own value nothing out of it she was I mean her family and her religion and everyone was teaching her that it's, it's not good to say I am good mm -hmm. just let people see it but of course people won't see it if you don't see it mm -hmm. um, don't go start talking now to people I am I know but uh, she is she's something she mm -hmm. is something big um, whether people see it or not a lot of people they start seeing it and she's a little bit I had very comfortable some people get hooked in her eyes if I look at her eyes mm -hmm. they cannot move Hmm. Um, uh, and uh, some people, very few people will get intimidated by her energy, uh, especially if they have a lot of uh, low energy, so they reject her. Mm -hmm. But most people, they feel uh, attracted to her. Attracted, not in a, okay, they feel attracted to her energy, mm -hmm. like healing, healing energy, just her presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she was told, and she cannot, she cannot understand it. Okay, so just by her being here, walking from street to street, mm -hmm. she's putting out that energy. Oh my God, she, she, she's not putting. The, she's changing it. Mm. It's so powerful. Uh, it's so powerful. She's loving energy she has it's very very powerful and she she is something huge mm -hmm. um, so if she has all of this energy why is she why would she push back to working with young children hmm yeah a few comic things needed to be dealt with mm -hmm. a little ego needs still to be broken in there mm -hmm. Uh, between being the successful businesswoman mm -hmm. and being the preschool teacher mm -hmm. uh, but mainly a um, few kids they needed her help there mm -hmm. one of them um, he started a few months ago uh, as autistic and she felt that she wanted to heal him but she doesn't want to create more karma if his soul doesn't want to be actually healed nothing broken with those people but mm -hmm. she wasn't sure and she, then she said let me connect to his higher self the higher self knows better because i don't want to take over his experience even though i feel bad for his parents whatever and she did not need to do anything like the healing things process she just put her hand on her hand, his head with a loving way, uh, send in light and say if it's in his best, let it happen. If in his soul, she feels so sad for those people. If he has such a brave soul and he wants to keep going with it, it's okay as well. Mm -hmm. The boy is healed. Very good. After a few weeks, she sees the this thing. She sees it transformation. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to touch people to heal them. When she's in the whirlpool public place, she as well. Oh my God! She got so scared of creating new karma. Because probably her soul still remembers what happened before. She doesn't want to take over anyone's experience, whatever. But she would um, bring light from the central sun, mm -hmm. or sometimes bring light down and bring it back with the healing mm -hmm. and with the intention for people who ever gets in there. To get healed if it's in their highest good and if it's their higher self uh, intention because anyway now she's realizing she cannot do anything outside of whatever their higher selves want so mm -hmm. she needs to stop worrying just send light and as you said the gift thing so stop worrying and send light wherever you feel like yesterday in miami beach she 
felt like she doesn't even need to channel the light as she usually does just be there with a good intention and she was doing a lot mm -hmm. um, a lot but we did not allow her to remember anything because uh, there's a lot happening there mm -hmm. and a lot happened in the past with the sink of Atlantis and stuff mm -hmm. it's okay it's all over now it's why do you want to go back to the same movie mm -hmm. it's okay so she was there she did whatever she needed to, to be done and uh, yeah well if she has all of this healing power to be able to heal mm -hmm. a boy with autism mm -hmm. why can she not completely heal her asthma why can she not completely heal her body why did her uterus and thyroid have to be removed oh that's that's a learning um, mm -hmm. i think with the uterus something it was used by them mm -hmm. yeah lower energy or so, something so it needs to be gone so would you check her body and see what's going on with the asthma she says she wants to swim She wants to be flexible, but she has that fear of the asthma. <sighs> the heart. Mm -hmm. So the healing is on. Uh, she already downloaded the auto healing body in her. She's auto healing her body. She's auto healing her body. Yes, but there are things that take time. Okay and the galactics as well they are working day and night on her body okay. and she knows and she feels them they're working and so, she feels it physically so would you check her spine the lower spine mm. the right blade well the, that's really what she thought so the lower spine the spine would tamper with mm -hmm. to do something and it is connected to the sciatica that she previously had which is healing now mm -hmm. Uh, that it's some um, like distorted her skeleton, her pelvis as well is t was tilted, mm -hmm. is tilted. Mm -hmm. That was all the process of cutting the communication with Gaia. Hmm. The the yeah the lower energy was doing a lot of not good stuff. Ah yes. Uh, but the the nearsightedness. It's in her um, family miasma, mm -hmm. and Emily started the healing, and the galactics are working on it. All right, would we continue changing that DNA, please? Would you work on her DNA and follow that healing all the way through the, her entire family? Yeah, she can do, and she knows now that when she's healing, thinks she's healing it in her ascendance and descendant. All right. She's sending this even to her brothers and sisters and mm -hmm. parents and her kids, and she she knows how to um, upgrade her on DNA mm -hmm. and her cells. Um, we did not want her to gather a lot of scientific information. She doesn't necessarily know. She cannot do a scientific representation. Mm -hmm. She knows that she comes to this life with a two-trend um, DNA. And now she's unlocking more and more and more. Okay. That's why when, she, when we show her the 44 as Angela's number, even though other people would come with different explanation, deep inside she knows that she's going toward the unlocking of the 44 as trend DNA. Mm -hmm. Good. How far uh, along is she? On unlocking this? I think now she is, uh, let's say, 36. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just the number comes mm -hmm. like that. Can we, can we increase Between that? 32 and 36. Okay. Is there a way we can increase it today? It, Accelerate uh, it? Uh, Accelerated, yes, because she will be able to do it by herself. Okay. Yeah, that is stage the body needs to go through. Mm -hmm. you, you, you cannot do it because of necessity of this the human body mm -hmm. the, this vessel she needs it because she's she's going to um take this body with her mm -hmm. uh, 
and she knows she always knows that she's taken this body with her okay now these changes that she's going through in her body um, right now she's changed her diet for example she wants to know if well, she will be eating air <laughs> Well, it's not really eating air because we don't have the right name for it. Yeah, so what would you call mm -hmm. it? So the first time it happened to her last year, mm -hmm. uh, for a financial reason, she wasn't able to afford enough food. Yes. So we interfered. Okay. <laughs> she didn't know that we did. <laughs> ah. So you slowed down her metabolism, just kind of like an alligator who takes mm -hmm. forever? <laughs> yeah, because... At some point, this is where she's going anyway. Mm -hmm. We didn't do it just like a game. We did it for purpose. Okay. And she wasn't too worried about it. She would drink a lot of water. She will um, reprogram her water with love. Mm -hmm. um, she was always careful, even if she couldn't afford enough food, but she wasn't playing with water. She was only buying good water. Mm -hmm. And lately, a few months ago, she heard through uh, Marina Jacobi that um, drinking distilled water uh, as well should help, and it resonated since the first second. She searched for a few minutes just to quiet her mind, but mm -hmm. she knew that what's, that's what she's supposed to do. But sometimes if the mind just keep it quiet, okay, search a few videos, oh yeah, that's, it says that's distilled water uh, is the best water we can drink because we were told bad stuff about it to fear people away from it mm -hmm. actually it's taken away all the um, minerals and all the chemicals away from the body because it has a negative charge in it so it's a cleansing the body so since then that's what she's <laughs> That's what she's drinking, and that's why we led her to the pharmacy, and she was like, what am I going to do there? But she went anyway, because she learned how to listen. <sighs> now, we were talking about her energy field and her energy. How can she balance the energy that she has, both the feminine and masculine divine feminine? It's done. It is. She needs to allow it. That's what you were explaining to her before the session. Mm. It's done. Just the fact that you realize that there is an imbalance yes. and you're wishing to balance it, mm -hmm. it is done. So just act as if. Okay. Yeah. So is that what we need to learn as humans in this incarnation right now, that when you ask it to be done or see it as done, it is done? Are we supposed to be learning that? You do need to learn it. That's, that's it who is. you really are. It's who we are. We of are, course. We, we are, are creators. You are God. Mm -hmm. You are spark of me. Mm -hmm. That's that's who we, who you are. She likes the saying, um, "Rumi." Uh, she loves Sufis. She Rumi when he says, "You are not a drop of the ocean. You are the ocean in a drop. Mm -hmm. So you are the ocean." And as the scientists like to say, that's a drop of the ocean carry all the characteristics of the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. that's right? So that's it, you like science, so that's you. We showed her the sparkle from God coming into her heart, so we, all creator, all creation has it. Just you need to see it, mm -hmm. see that you are God's old view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are God's, that's it. So as the God that she is, or the goddess, why is she not stepping into her power yet? She needs to clear the unworthiness thing mm -hmm. with what happened to Sophia. Mm -hmm. She loves her a lot. Well, after she's seen she now, now she's seen what happened. How Sophia was just kind of laughing at her. No, not only that. She's offering all kind of help. Mm -hmm. The goddess Sophia is here. She's back. She's, she doesn't need us to do anything. She said, if you're doing something, like for in the environment or for a guy or friend, okay, do it if it makes you feel good. You're doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Not doing it for her. She's fine. She is. She's totally fine. 
-hmm. She agreed to a situation and now she said no thank you. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem? Like this being she was like, oh, I'm in imbalance, imbalance at the beginning of my life, but feminine, I didn't know how to receive. I know, oh, because the masculine divine get hurt because I don't know uh, stories. Mm -hmm. uh, so does she need to feel unworthy anymore? Oh. <laughs> Would you allow me to help her pull out all of that unworthiness in her heart? Uh... It's an illusion All right. there. You don't need to move anything. It's Good. gone. It's gone. Very good. Yeah. It's done. Yes. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, like the illusion. That's right. It's it's done. Just, yeah. It's done. Yeah. Very good. So now that she wants, she has all of this information, she'd like to be able to connect to Inanna, Nefertiti, the Council of Twelve, and the other beings of light. Okay. How can she connect or should she? Well, actually, you are always connected to everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just allow yourself to be aware of the connection. Mm -hmm. Inanna was showing herself in an obvious way mm -hmm. to her because as well she loves her. She's, she's a projection of her. Mm -hmm. uh, she was always wondering about the connection to Nefertiti and she always said, it's okay if I am an incarnation of her or not. I still feel her, and I felt I used to feel her pain, and I used to feel where she got stopped on her back. Actually, the pain wasn't stopped in the back. The pain was like she was not such beautiful, beautiful heart, beautiful lady, mm -hmm. beautiful goddess, demi goddess. And she, they used one of her guards. She, we show him to her, and she forgave him because mm -hmm. he was there for, I mean, for divine purpose. And uh, yes, actually, I want to confirm that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's. She yeah. is an incarnation yeah. of Nefertiti. Yeah. Or an aspect of her. Um, whatever, it does not matter the names, but mm -hmm. she was there in one of her attempts to to, um, to fix mm -hmm. the big mess that the Anunnaki did mm -hmm. and what she participated in. Not in real dark way, but not responsible. She was kind of a responsible mm -hmm. uh, goddess, demi-goddess. Mm -hmm. uh, she, the evolution happened on all, all races, all galactic families, on um, all those aeons and aeons of time. Inanna as well, now she's at a different level mm -hmm. because of those many incarnations and projections of herself. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and through the soul as well. Um, so she she is who she is. Yeah. Um, would it make a difference? No, because all human are. But for her specifically, yes. Um, and she knows that the Council of Twelve, they are there. She would worry sometimes maybe she's not at the level required for her to do her mission. Mm -hmm. But uh, she is hard on herself than what we could be hard on her. Mm -hmm. uh, we all came of love, so it is okay. Uh, but we're there. She can connect with us and she can take over her mission. Actually, her mission is not, is yet to start. The, the real galactic mission is yet to start. So she has, she doesn't need to fear that she's missing something or she's deceiving yeah that's mm -hmm. the thing she doesn't want to deceive them mm -hmm. she doesn't want the shame of not being at the level of doing what she said she will mm -hmm. and she can do so what is her mission exactly okay um helping people through the event mm -hmm. um a little bit before during and after mm -hmm. um and helping mainly with her presence and giving information. 
guide them, uh, like being a uh, source of information mm -hmm. for people. Can you tell me about this event? Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. What, yeah. what is the event and why is everyone here for it right now? It seems like a big <clears throat> rock concert where everybody's showing up, mm. wanting to get front row seats. Mm. What is this event? If you're there, you're there, as she, she always said. If you're there, you're there. It does not matter where you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like for the records. She said, okay, whatever. If I'm chosen to be there, I'll be there. If not, another aspect of me will be there. Okay. If the other aspect would be there, means it was most needed. Mm -hmm. So no attachment to anything. No attachment to definition. No attachment mm -hmm. to, I have to be the first or second row. Even though she's at the first row. <laughs> and she saw... We showed her in her dream, she called it dream, but it wasn't a dream, mm -hmm. it was a real meeting. Uh, the galactic has to interfere before that to put a device in her brain and um, we woke her up to make her aware about it. A little uh, pain at the place where they put it, just to tell her that it is true. Mm -hmm. Now you have a physical proof of it mm -hmm. and it was with your agreement. and. Um, with permission and then just close her eyes and she went to the meeting with God and um, she was on the first row and then after that when she woke up she said oh I wonder why at school especially at the elementary school in real life in this lifetime she always she was always in the first row mm -hmm. so uh, on the first row of this event what is the event about yeah. can we get a trailer of it Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it's not something that's going to happen in one day mm -hmm. or in three days or whatever and it's not something connected to disaster so I start by it's not it's not it's not because of all what the it's not as of about. this it's not of this earth I would tell you what okay first what it is not. Okay. All right. Tell me what it's not. <laughs> so not necessarily um, natural disaster connected to it. No disasters. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be for people who wanted to create it. We are not going to take it away from them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so it's a, okay. It gets a little bit complicated. It's our game. So the event, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the event will be the, like what she has in her image. It's a smooth transition mm -hmm. because primary creator. What we said love create us from love and mm -hmm. he's us so how do you expect him to punish us or to put us in a situation but if we want to he will say okay well d'accord he will say okay that's what you wanted it's okay mm -hmm. um so for her she without she doesn't need any warning or something it's just vibration thing mm -hmm. it will happen individually when the individual is ready for it unfortunately a lot of cleansing has to be done and as she has to go through the um, dark night of the soul um, our feelings goes for those people who are now at the midst of it because she already came out of it mm -hmm. she does not see it necessarily well she sees it it's not yet in the physical but she sees it she know mm -hmm. she knows it's there it's done <laughs> So this dark night of the soul, mm -hmm. has it happened before? I mean, is this something that's coming that everyone has to go through or have people mm. been going? Not every soul. Mm. No, there are okay. souls, they did it before. Why do you want them to do it again and again? Ah, okay. Good. And as you know, there are souls here, they are on vacation. <laughs> and you say, oh, that's friend. I, th I wonder what it has in his head. That's, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. Just eating, going to work and party. Um, now remember, who you are, who are you to judge the person? Mm -hmm. They did a lot of work, or they're going to do whatever. Who cares? Their little trip, vacation for 50, 60 years, whatever, they're going back to their work. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so, so that's uh, the event. If you want mm -hmm. to make a big movie of it, well, I mean, it's up to you, but. Uh, for us it's not mm -hmm. it's a vibrational um, level that you're going there mm -hmm. um, I will give you an example you you carrying or an example she likes um, 
who's the channel of the family name Selig who channeled truth book of truth anyway he has a mm -hmm. Paul Selig Paul Selig yeah he has this analogy is that you're good and he his guides whatever like you're you're driving a uh, let's say convertible mm -hmm. and of course the human being we put a lot of stuff in it and the car barely can move and because it's so luxurious car mm -hmm. first of all your okay your 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 old stuff that you packed in every time you look there's pack fell down mm -hmm. but you're full speed why do you want to stop the car and start crying and sometimes you want to go back to pick it up mm. it's just slowing you down so whatever is falling down let it go mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's gone means it was time for it to go mm -hmm. it won't go like her car was taken for one week it was she has many things to learn first of all she didn't react as a human being she used to be mm -hmm. <laughs> she was her first reaction she was like seriously Misha. okay tell me uh why did you create this in my home why, why did i create what did I, I need to learn what i need to tell myself mm -hmm. about it and then she went from there now she know that she's she was on the right path mm -hmm. it's like she did it to herself but she was aware that she at this time that was the last thing she tried that last thing that she's going away mm -hmm. and she got it and she she knows that she did put this experience in her hologram mm -hmm. to learn something and she was open to learnings mm -hmm. at spiritual level at 3d level as well because there were things that she 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 could done but you know that her soul wants to go mm -hmm. through this so so that's the thing. So if we go back to the event, it's it's your event. It's, it's <laughs> your individual event. Of course. Okay. So everything is your individual thing. It's your hologram. Mm -hmm. You get in your studio, lock the door, and start making your movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, why do you want me to tell you? I'm just to have my blessings. Um, if you need help, technical help or whatever, I'll help you if you ask. Mm -hmm but if you have some difficulties and you're enjoying the solving the problem mm -hmm. why do you want me to take it away from you mm -hmm. so who created this problem with her real estate business did she was she is this something that was taken away was this part of the dark night of the soul for her uh, no, she, the, she she's supposed to do this job. Ah. Uh, but yes, she is. We, we made it clear to her it's not about the job because even when she was doing it, she was pretty authentic mm -hmm. and not selfish and very, mm -hmm. oh my God, she's taking good care of her clients. But that's the only way to push her to, because she's very, 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 very strong and she dances well. With problems and she she has a very good um, uh, skills on solving problems and uh, she has quiet mind and focus and she she's stable um, so it would take something really big for her to let go of her things mm -hmm. of the tons of clothes she gathered and tons of furniture and the whole th her things that she. she she was holding on yeah to take something really really strong because yeah it mm -hmm. has to be hard no one was punishing her no one taking care of her it's like she's doing she did it to herself now she knows that she did it to herself mm -hmm. it's not she did it to herself she knows that she orchestrated all of it and how she calls that she said like we yeah so we threw um, breadcrumbs on our way mm -hmm. for us to follow <laughs> so that's uh, now she's aware when she find a video or she find an answer or she find a place or she found like she found 
you and last year she was like oh it's a real blessing how could I how I, I secured my spot and with I mean she just did it it's as simple mm. as this it's not big if it wasn't meant to happen it won't mm. um, she managed the, the financial thing and the stuff and it just happened because it was meant to happen so you're doing this to yourself mm -hmm. um, because you need it you're going to experience whatever you need to experience mm -hmm. Good. And she says that she found a rod on a beach in January. She called it the rod, the Moses rod. Yes. Who gave her that rod? We gave her the answer, mm -hmm. but through Emily. But she she thinks that's too big for her. Hmm. Now I think she may receive. Yeah, she she she's receiving it. So that's uh, yes. We throw the name. As we throw names of things, um, like there are entities, good entities, uh, attached to many things around her. Just, oh my God, she has an army of helpers. Hmm. Entities are throwing themselves to attach to a rock, and the rock would call her from the beach to bring it home. Mm -hmm. And she will, so uh, help is there, oh my God, when she asked for help, even entities where they weren't on the plan to help and even uh, other souls they're so wanting to help like the number I uh, cannot imagine mm -hmm. everyone is volunteering to help her mm -hmm. and they are trying to find ways to do it but um, by the easiest thing for them is like one attached herself to a doll and uh, we sent her to the store to buy the doll mm -hmm. and it's there for care and love taking care of her loving her Beautiful. and uh, uh, so the other day when she found the rod that was the same day she was on the it was January 6th she was driving on the highway going to the beach and she felt a shift physical shift that almost threw away her car from the highway mm -hmm. and she felt the thing in her ears like if you when you're in a plane and mm -hmm. it goes up and down and yes. she felt the thing she had to hold on the car but she, she does not she didn't worry about her safety because she knows we are protecting her mm -hmm. yeah. what was that shift that was going on in her? we shifted her timeline you did but we are doing it gradually because she was so to taken away from her timelines but the lower entities mm -hmm. um, they tempered a lot like with her timelines and they tempered even with Sinefertiti mm -hmm. they covered with sand all what is connected to Nefertiti mm. the, the only one thing we found from Nefertiti is the Thing she has on her back. Um, so they were trying to discard her. Will those uh, things from Nefertiti ever been be found? We see them uh, mm, mm, deep under the sand. Yes, there is a um, Russian satellite mm -hmm. that they can see them, mm -hmm. but it will. There are people, psychics and stuff, and scientists that are working on that. But it will take a lot of money, and maybe because it's not yet time. Mm -hmm. Everything is there, of course, but it's under, I don't know how many feet of sand. Mm -hmm. It's in the valley, valley of Kings. Mm -hmm. A huge, a huge, a huge, huge still with the gold and everything mm -hmm. few people now know about it as i said scientist and and psychic but um it will happen in better circumstances mm -hmm. it will take oh they think it will take a lot of money because they're using their human mind to uh. to calculate oh, human beings funny <laughs> you don't need all of this what do you need? Well, she knows. Oh my God, she was there at the building of the pyramids. Mm -hmm. I see her. I see her. I see me. Uh, laser. Mm -hmm. Using what? lasers to build. Have la she? She 
yeah, she was doing part of it, mm -hmm. using that language, mm -hmm. and a laser, uh, physical laser thing, uh, mm -hmm. kind of rod or something, mm -hmm. stick or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, she's so powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and her voice is so loud. So powerful. How big is she there? Oh my god, that's why she's so scary. <laughs> this lifetime to allow this voice to come out. Mm -hmm. That's why the problem with the thyroid. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't allow full of it. So powerful. What did she do with her voice in that time? That oh, was so powerful. Creation. Okay, all good stuff. Creation. She created with her voice? Yes, mm -hmm. with the voice and with the laser thing. And elements were work every everything and everyone loves her. And everything was working with her. Mm -hmm. How tall was she in that lifetime? Uh, I cannot see the size. Was she big? I cannot see. I know the voice okay. is huge and so powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the 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 rod, yeah. So how can she use that rod? Mm, so after the shift on the highway, and then when she went there, she was looking at the sky, and then we said in her head, "Why, when you're looking for us, you're looking at the sky?" <laughs> <laughs> and then. She said, well, actually, you're right, because if you're everywhere, it's okay, even if she's connecting to the galactics, and they're not necessarily, I mean, need to look on the sky. And she looks on the uh, rocks on the beach, and there were an empty bottle of um, drops with certain vision, mm -hmm. which to her means open your eyes. Mm -hmm. So that she opened her eyes, and then she starts seeing things, and we said, you go to that corner. She went there and the stick was there. Wonderful. So what uh, what power uh, does the stick have? It's more representation. Okay. It is a connection to us, but she doesn't need tools to connect to us. It's just for like the physical side to it and more representation of her connection to Moses mm -hmm. and to she knows that all prophets almost all of them they had a rod mm -hmm. on their hands and it's like a representation of leading people or leading the lost sheep mm -hmm. is, she, them back. is she an oracle? <laughs> she is of course mm -hmm. good and now talking about all this sand and beach what connection does she have with Sandy Cove Beach. Is there a portal there? A portal on the sky. Mm. And there's entrance to the lower um, in the earth. Mm. Where part of Lemurian people went. Okay. She knows it. Um, I was showing her a little bit in the dream, but uh, they are trying to connect with her mm -hmm. and lately we showed her through her uh, third eye the circle the circle circle until infinity and then she she said okay that's source and then we showed her a uh, kind of a reptilian mm -hmm. like a big snake or something with tiny legs feet whatever and a head or feathered head yeah, it looks like he's one of the goddess. And um, yeah, they are eventually going to. Well, that's the thing. Okay, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her soul, the, the big one, is incarnated almost everywhere in the universe. Mm -hmm. And of course, on the, on the earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wherever she goes, she has her. She's there. She's there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she needs to know about in her earth? Love. There's a lot of love lot for of her. Love. Mm -hmm. And they're so looking forward to connect. Mm -hmm. um, they said they already connected. But a lot of love and it's going It's happened. The connection is happening. Good. What's happening on Grouse Mountain? Oh, at Lemurian time, she was... Um, among the first hybrid mm -hmm. from the Pleiades, mm -hmm. uh, she was high priest. 
so tall uh, she has a very very high status there and they like the other people will carry her stuff and they go up the mountain mm -hmm. for connections uh, with the skies with the heavens mm -hmm. and we sent her there for her remembrance mm. and we sent her there she needed to anchor uh, oh, oh Oh, okay. The portals on San Diego Beach, Sky One. Yeah, and the portals on Grouse Mountain. Mm -hmm. They were taken away and they were liberated now. Oh. They are under the Federation of Light. Okay. Yeah. So her presence was needed, and that's where. That's where she was taken to the fake ascension tame line from the beach that is where they found her and that's why where she was liberated when the okay yeah when the portal was liberated and girls mountain that was because when she remembered who she was and the mountain was talking to her the mountain the birds the butterflies the trees the thing and her mind was like you're not even scared of like a wild animal will come and she's like mm, nothing of this will happen if anything happens like my archangel Michael is there taking care of everything so she has no fear she has the soul has no fear and she has no fear mm -hmm. yeah now she asked about the Sufi was she one of the Sufi because they mm -hmm. had different ideas many lifetimes mm -hmm. and she suffered a lot that's mm -hmm. why now she's invited to go to um, their uh, some sessions and there's this synchronicity she met one who is organized and every time she said she she will go and she won't go mm -hmm. and we will make the synchronicity happen that she will meet him in a very odd way mm -hmm. and she will say oh sorry I'm... okay so that's her mind reminding her that's what happened to her previously okay. but the mind is disguising it and is saying oh what if their spiritual belief won't correspond to yours but that's that's yeah because she she was persecuted she was mm -hmm. tortured because of it mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so her soul remembers also remember but now is not suffering anymore okay. it used to mm -hmm but now it's just an experience and for, of course she forgives those people because as one of the sophists said when they was to hang him he said god the, forgive my people they are doing it because they love you yes that's right. so so that's mm -hmm. yeah that's how she is as well so she has now not not, not she worked on it in the last few years last few months it's over good and what about her connection to the sun? She says she's now looking at the sun. <laughs> Doesn't bother her? She came in and out through the sun. Okay. So this is where... Is this where the, the well, big soul came through? And even to do some other stuff, she goes very often back and forth. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. She doesn't. She's not aware. But well, actually, now she knows. But she knows. But uh, that's her portal at the middle. And we showed her with her physical eyes a little circle at the heart of the sun. So is the sun a portal for us to come in to this incarnation? Yes, and okay. it was a portal even for the lower energies, but not anymore. Ah. Lately, it was cleansed. Lately. Okay, good. Yes. And I'd like to ask if there's anything else that we need to address today that I haven't asked. No, oh, she knows everything. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Very good. Wide awake feeling wonderful. <sighs> thank you. Welcome oh, back. God, thank you so much. Wow. Oh, thank you. Such an amazing journey. Thank you so much, Elba. It was My a pleasure. You on earth, I'm so thankful. You did great. 
You are such a real blessing. Thank you so much. You connected very strongly, huh? You saw a lot, you experienced a lot. What a journey. Yeah. How does your body feel? <laughs> Buzzing. <laughs> Buzzing? Well, let's get you grounded. Let me have some of that selenite back. And let's switch this to get these grounding stones working. You may feel them buzzing in a minute. Thank you so wow. It's great, huh? Wow, it was so easy. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Even though I'm taking it easy, but I, I take everything easy, but I thought it would be something, I mean, really big, but it's not. You connected very easily. Yeah, Super God. easy, right? Thank God. And quickly? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I think there's something coming me down because I would expect myself when you open the first time you open the door for me I would scream ah! <laughs> I would jump on you but something was like helping me really mm -hmm. yeah taking me down yes yeah. yeah and now you know you have to ask for help you have so many helpers yes. yeah everything you yeah. everywhere you go yeah no I know it's not good for anyone to ask that's as simple as this. If I won't ask, it's not good. I'm not making favor to myself. I'm not fa making favor to the universe. I'm not. You have to manifest. Yeah. You are. You are a creator. Yes. We all of us. We are mm -hmm. all gods. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Is this something you want to share? You want to keep private? I think the information will be helpful mm -hmm. because I don't think everyone needs to go through what I went through to know what I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody goes through their own little journey. Yeah, but you don't their wish dark, it. The dark night of the soul, everybody has to go through one of those. Yeah, but if, if it can... Like yeah, yes, actually, yes, because I was going through things, almost the same thing, but from different perspectives, I was like laughing at it. Right. <laughs> you did it, you did it, you did it. I can't do it. <laughs> Wow. So tell everybody how you feel. I feel wonderful. I feel new. This new me. I, I swear to God, this is the... Actually, I feel the real me. The real me has yeah. come out. Yeah. Just here and I showed up. Ta -da, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels so good because it feels so powerful. Yes. Um, it feels real. So mm -hmm. everything real is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I'm so thankful. For you, thankful for the universe that led me to you, thankful for everything. Uh, well, how far did you travel? Uh, you really want to answer? Oh my goodness, over 4,000. So, where do you live? Wherever. Vancouver, British Columbia. So, Canada. all the way across the country. Yes, the West mm -hmm. Coast. Was yeah. it worth it? My goodness, I said I go to the moon to, to meet you for a session like this. Yes, go even to Mars or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it was worth it. Yes. So how did it feel to be connected with Prime Creator? Oh my God. But it feels familiar. It's silly. Yeah. But uh, love, mm. in condition, of course, love is in condition. Because if it's condition, it has different name. Yeah, yeah. It's not love. Um, but it's funny, it feels... I didn't have the over. Cause sometimes I will want to connect w with him. I feel the overwhelming love, mm -hmm. but I cannot handle it. But I think because it happened a few times, and now I surrender to it. Mm -hmm. y you're worthy. You're really connected straight to source. So yes. stop questioning it. It's happening in a more natural way. So I was like more receptive and mm -hmm. accepting. No doubt. And so, so does this empower you now to go out there and do what you're supposed to be doing? Absolutely. Mm. Yes. That's yeah. important. Yeah. And then trust and then know uh, that I have all the tools. Um, it won't matter how much time to take. Not, it won't matter anything. Just, just go do it. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. It was a great session. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm so, so shaking. You know, I'm, shaking. I'm so, I'm so. Th I still it, can't believe myself. First of all, mm -hmm. that I had the courage to 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 make it and to arrive. And was looking at this. I was like, is it dream or I'm looking through the house? Oh, no like, dream. Yeah, you're here. 
You made it. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm so proud of myself because yeah. I, I, I made it. And then, uh, as I said, proven to, to my higher self, proven to the universe that I'm doing my part. Yeah. And yeah. I'm doing really what it takes. And so. we talked about a lot of things today. We talked about this uh, reincarnation machine. Okay. So mean. <laughs> it's well. so mean. But, you know, that's why when I do my work, I send them, you know, I have them find that spark within them that spark of God within them, that God spark, uh -huh. you know, because that's so important to remember who you are so that when you're going back home, you're going back to, uh, to the real home. To home. You're not going back <laughs> to the reincarnation machine. You're going back home, yeah. back to the light of source, of God, of yeah. crea prime creator. Yeah. And my dad, poor God, yeah. he was so sad for people he left there. Mm -hmm. He was so sad for them. Yeah. I, f I felt his sadness. So now you, you sent him. Yeah. Back. That's why he kept connected to me. Yeah. He helping me and he knows that I will be the one who's going to help him as well. That's great. It's great. So do you recommend this type of work to people? <laughs> <laughs> don't even say it, right? I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do it and, and don't think that you cannot. Mm -hmm. When there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. And that's what that's what was said. Basically, if you think you're not going to have it done it's not it's not going to happen but yeah. when you already know it's done yeah it's created done. It's, it's, and no. you create it you yeah. create your own reality simply by just yeah. saying it's done yeah yeah it's it, it, there's no hesitation there's no doubt yeah it just is yeah yeah that, that's the thing so don't don't plan too much like i got my plane ticket and my things one week uh, one week before yeah yeah because i do shift and people around <laughs> quite a bit yeah <laughs> yeah and i was like I mean, there are things that, uh, from this perspective, I'm, I'm laughing at them that I cannot come to your address taking a cab, I had to bus, yeah. and like I have to... You made it hard on yourself to, to get here. Um, you took, it, it took felt, a long it felt, way. No, it felt better. Oh, it felt did. better because I connect to where I, I, I live for those few days. It's more like um, dark-skinned people. Uh -huh. It's just filled of love and when I come this side is when I spend people it feels the same amount of love <laughs> people are people people and are souls with bodies I mean that's basically it yeah and I would mm -hmm. just laugh at it though like look at you queens of heaven where you share it and it's like oh, it's a joke for me like yeah. I'm not looking at it from one last year it would be like from suffering victimhood thing mm -hmm. but now it's kind of from another perspective to see life to look at but you still who you are it doesn't matter where are you sleeping or what yeah is. yeah so yeah. so this yeah. was good for you oh my goodness Don't yes you. yeah so yeah. if you would like a session with me go to my website albawyman.com go to the out of town page sign up for my newsletter that's how you get a session and when that newsletter comes out click on those links immediately it'll take you to a calendar showing you the dates and times available that's how you get a session and i hope i get to meet you sometime soon and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching with my arm Bye. free you know for real <laughs>